like I remember my first game, I think we lost by like 150 points or something. And then to last year, you know, winning the premiership after three seasons, um, you know, just really demonstrated that if you just put your head down and you continue to work hard and work on what you got, um, you know, the rewards are going to come. You know, we're super proud of her. In fact, she's played more games than all our boys put together. So <laughs> that's telling you the dedication that she's had you know, since she was a 17 year old. So, um, and she has, she's she trailed her own her own track um, in women's football and um, I think she's helped support a lot of the young ones along the way as well which um, I'm super proud of as well. A young Indigenous female woman, she's just absolutely, she epitomises what it is to be strong, what it is to be determined, what it is to be or have a lot of belief in yourself and know that if you put this into your brain it'll happen and that was really evident last year. Uh, she, we would I know we're very biased, but we would put her as basically one of the best in the comp for being able to get girls motivated and get them to go, well, actually, I can do this if I put everything into it. And she's a leader and people want to be like her. I want to be like her. Look, I'll admit, when she first started the journey, I um, was still living in Gove and Letitia was back here. And she didn't tell me for a while that she'd, she'd, she'd taken up playing footy. And when she told me, I, I was a bit apprehensive I thought oh, it'll just be a phase you know a bit of a fad she'll because she's always played sport no matter what sport and she's always you know really dedicated dedicated herself to it then to come back and and obviously what watch her journey has been just just a great pleasure for all of us because even when she won the game at Palmerston the premiership at Palmerston uh, and then she coached the first under 15 girls I think to a premiership there so you know all those sort of things and you, you just see her grow and, and, and mature into a woman and I think football does that to you, sport does that to you. She's now got 150 and I'm 200, so what's your space, I'd say. <laughs> like, I've got amazing people around me, like, you know, Ebony Miller, who's been around for a long time, and she just comes in and she steps up and she plays her role really, really well. And obviously having a co-captain in um, Megzi, so I captained a couple of years by myself, and then I just said to Charman, like, I need someone to help me out. Like, it's a lot of, it is a lot of pressure for, you know, one person to kind of carry that captaincy. and. Then, you know, we had such an outstanding season and we just read each other really well. And, you know, when you've got a team of so many players, you want to be able to give them that one-on-one -on -one support that they need. And, you know, the younger, we have heaps of young girls that debut and like, you know, just that wraparound support, make sure they feel comfortable and that they want to stay. Like at the end of the day, you just want them to stay and enjoy their time playing football. Like I've obviously enjoyed my time playing football and that's why I'm 150 games in. When you get to the point where right down to under 10s you've got girls everywhere, I think that the culture of women's football and the fact that we're rural is just amazing and that was one of the reasons I wanted to come on board. I've been on the committee and I've been part of the Premier League teams, both men and women, but yeah, I wanted to help shape the future of this club and not predominantly towards women, but having them both as an equal in our club. So this is the first time we've ever gone into a comp being the hunted. We've always hunted that flag and now we have this, you know, this beautiful big shiny cup and a big triangular ochre flag to say we've done it, but now everyone wants that spot. We've had to fight to get there, now we have to fight to keep it, but now we're up against teams that are just sensational. You watch them and you just think, man, where did all these girls come from? And it's fantastic because we're, the women's football is no longer like, you know, women's footy, it's women's footy. We've got a lot to work on, but we are in that really good building phase and I'm pretty confident that we're going to peak at the right time.